Hey you guys, so today we're going to be looking at the best humane mousetrap under $10. And now to keep this short and simple, I've already narrowed it down to two of my favorites. There are uh, two that I've already done some videos on that you may have seen before, but I've never compared the two to each other. So here we have the Ness Tip Trap and the Mice Cube, both great traps. The Ness Tip Trap I think is one of the most creative live capture mouse traps that I have ever seen. Works on the really simple principle of just letting the mouse walk in the door and then using the mouse's own weight to uh, trigger the trap and make it close up on it. And it has just this uh, little bait cup in the back that you take off and uh, put your peanut butter on. So real simple to use, real simple to set up. The uh, mice cube is even simpler, um, if not quite as creative, but it all works really, really well. Um, you basically just drop your peanut butter on a chip or something down inside the trap. Uh, the door is a baffle on a hinge and the mouse goes in, but then cannot get back out. Now, like I said, I've used both these traps many times. Both work really well. I like, uh, like the creativity behind the nest a little better, but I've also had a problem with it. And that is about 30% of the time I've seen that it gets triggered without the mouse actually getting inside of it. So basically I go downstairs to the basement where I usually catch mice. I, uh, I pick this thing up, find that it's closed. I'm like, oh boy, I got a mouse, open it up, nothing inside. That has happened to me a few times. Anyways, I finally set up a camera and uh, this is what I saw happen. The uh, mouse comes out, smells the peanut butter. Then uh, instead of going in the door though, he tries to uh, investigate by climbing up on top of it. And end of story. Nest trap gets triggered, no mouse. So that's obviously a little bit of a problem for the nest. There is also one other practical advantage that the mice cube has over the nest, and that is it's transparent. So you don't have to worry about, you know, picking it up, seeing, oh, is it heavy? Is there a mouse? Is it just a really light mouse, light mouse that's inside of it? Uh, it's basically, you can, just, you can just see whether or not the mouse is in there, which is a simple thing, but it's uh, really, really helpful, actually. So I guess at this point, we've got to say it's two for the mice cube, one for the nest. Both great traps, but I just feel like the mice cube, even if it's uh, not quite as much fun to, to watch or to use, uh, the mice cube is the more practical and the more uh, consistently functional one. Uh, both cheap traps, the uh, mice cube, you can get a three pack for like $9.99 US on Amazon. The nest you can buy as an add-on for like three or $4 US, or uh, you can buy it by itself and have it shipped by itself for like six or $7. So both great traps, both under $10, but I would recommend the mice cube over the nest, unfortunately, because I really like the nest. It's really, uh, you know, when you catch one in this, you're just like, boom. Gotcha. But anyways, a little more practical works more consistently. So mice cube, there we go. Thank you guys for watching this video and uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe for more tests, reviews, and hints about how to deal with your mouse problem humanely on Mousetrap Genius. Thank you guys for watching.